Big we're time. taking things one game at a time here, as every coach will say. It just so happens that the next game is the rivalry game. It's been almost 10 years since Max Hall connected with Andrew George for a touchdown in overtime, giving the Cougars their last win over Utah. Can't believe it's been that long. But since then, the Utes, they've dominated the rivalry, winning eight straight games in this series. This BYU team determined, though, to end that streak. And they haven't shied away from saying so. So it's tooth and claw. It's the Utah BYU game. This it's it's a fight to the finish. You know, it's one of the best rivalries in college football. I think it could be something that's overlooked. Um, you know, with the with the Michigans and Ohio States and uh, you know the Alabama Auburns, but 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 this one's right up there. I'm pumped. I'm so excited. I've been preparing for it for a year already. Duke's back to the right. Play fake. Wilson on the seam. Caught by Bushman. Ten five. Touchdown Cougars! I don't want to be like the last guys who were here for four years that never beat those guys. So, you know, I want to get three straight. I've been thinking about it ever since the game. You know, I just felt like I, I give them a lot of credit for coming back, but I also feel like there's a part of the game that, that we left out there. Shotgun snap to Zach. Climbs the pocket, goes down, sack. We're ready. It's It's been a long time coming. Straight up, they've had it on us the past seven years, and like, it's, it's I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I think our team is sick of it. Our coaches are sick of it. It means more to me. Uh, I take a personal. Quick throw outside. Intercepted. Picked off to the outside. Julian Blackman. Five, four, three, two, one. Touchdown. I mean, Utah acts like it's no big deal, but I know, I know that they prepare for this game and they and they and they approach it like it's, you know, something bigger than it is. And you know, you can't let guys like that go talk on Twitter because, you know, we can't we can't step down and let them do stuff like that. Literally every breakdown we have at practice when we're at workouts is beat Utah, beat Utah on three. Beat Utah. We're just ready. It's it's time. We are ready for this and we're getting eager for it. We've been counting down since like 201 days. That's going to be a tough task because this is arguably the best Utah team ever. I know that Kyle will have that, that team ready. It's if, if guys aren't passionate about this game coming up, I don't know what they're working out this all season for. Since I've been at BYU and beat Utah, we're so motivated because we know we can compete with anybody. We were left with that bad taste for the entire year. It's been too long. Like it's no secret. Like we all want to get that win. If the game was tomorrow, I'd be ready. If you see what's happening within the program, the culture shift, the belief, the buy-in, believe in what we're doing, believe in the message that Kalani's preaching believe that we can win these games and that's that's the chip we have on our shoulder like and if I mean, people can say what they want but there's uh, I mean, guys are pissed off.